They are up. Sharp start from the outside post for Chase H. Hanover, who wants and gets the early lead. Charlie May into second, and then by the missile and tattoo artist. After that, it's Luz Perlman, who is fifth, moving on to the first turn. And then Ali Wag Hanover, sixth. Ponda Warrior races seventh. Next is a bucket bet Hanover with Tarasi and line drive Hanover the trailer. First quarter, 25 and four. To the back stretch, they are three across the track as by the missile and tattoo artist continue to be glued to each other. And now tattoo artist takes the lead. By the missile second, Charlie May third. Chase H Hanover is followed by Luz Perlman. Ali Wag Hanover next. And then Ponda Warriors seventh. Moving through at the inside to Rossi, a bucket bet Hanover, and the trailer is line drive Hanover. 53 and two for the half. Moving on to the second turn. Four to five favorite tattoo artist with the lead by the missile. Luz Perlman is moving nicely first over. Ali Wag Hanover is second over. And then to the inside comes Charlie May. Ponda Warrior trying to get going. Three quarter time, 121 and four. Tattoo Artist with the lead. Luz Perlman on the outside. By the missile looking for racing room. Then on the outside is Ali Wag Hanover. On the far outside trying to move up is a buck of that Hanover. It is still Tattoo Artist holding onto this lead tenaciously. By the missile between horses now comes on. It's by the missile. By the missile has won it. Up for second was Luz Perlman. Tattoo Artist was third. Close for fourth with a bucket bet Hanover and Alley Wag Hanover, 148 flat. Who's Perlman second as well? We got uh, the head of Team Burke here. We've got Yannick Jingra as well. We'll talk to Yannick in a moment. Ronnie, uh, how, how does it feel to cap off your weekend like this? Yeah, that was good, you know, for them to finish one, two, and you know, it was a great race. You know, that's, that's how you're supposed to race. Like them guys raced it into the first turn. Nobody giving an inch and pushing each other and, you know, let the horses settle it. Luz Perlman second at big odds, outraced his odds. Pretty good weekend for that family, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I told Timmy, I said, if you get him close, he'll be there. Just keep him close. This horse loves the track. He's, you know, he trained great this week, you know, and then these two are bouncing off each other in the stretch. I'm like, oh, this is going to be bad, <laughs> but, you know, it worked out great. Has this just become old hat for you? I mean, so many horses uh, entered over just two days. Uh, getting your, your team like, just to operate like a well-oiled machine? Nah, they're great. All these guys are great. These are our best guys, you know, minus my sister and Kenny, who are, you know, over at the Meadows and stuff. But these guys, they do this all the time. You know, it's what we do. So, you know, I'm very proud of them, proud of the horses. Congratulations. Go enjoy it. Thank you. All right, Yannick, and we know he's not going to enjoy it for long. He's going to go right to work. Um, great weekend for you. Nice way to cap it off here. It's always a great division to win. Tell me about that trip. What was going on there early on? Oh, there was definitely a lot of pushing down the first turn, but uh, I was holding my position. I, uh, there was no way I was going to get down to the rail. You know, I, I wanted to follow Tattoo Artist. I think it was uh, everybody's plan in, in the race, and um, thankfully we were able to do it. You know, we can't take anything away from Tattoo because he's been sensational, but I got a feeling you, you, you felt all season long like your horse is the best age horse on the grounds. Yeah, I mean, I, about a month and a half ago, I thought for sure he was the, clearly the best horse. But then Tattoo was on some kind of roll, and uh, uh, even tonight, he, you know, he raced great. That it was a tough trip for him. But uh, I have all the respect for, for the horse right now. He's a uh, career form. Uh, but uh, mine is definitely no slouch. He's a, he's a very nice horse. He's only four. Uh, looking forward to racing him next year. How do you grade your weekend? Uh, I would say maybe A minus, and a couple of them I thought I, I could have done better. Like um, I was a little disappointed in a couple horses. Actually, I had good trip, just uh, maybe a little sickness. Uh, I'm not sure, but. Uh, um, you know, overall, you went two breeders ground. Uh, it's got it's gonna be an A. So I'm, I know A minus is good enough. How does it feel now though that it's done? There's a big build up to it, but but now the breeders crown's over. Honestly, last night was a big relief. Tonight I enjoyed it a little bit more. Uh, you know, the build up with Carl. Uh, you know, obviously, and um, you know the pressure on the horse. He wasn't right last week. You know, once you win one, I, mentally it's it's a lot better. I, I was talking to the Berg Brigade owners last night. I was telling them like, you know, tomorrow I'm going to enjoy it. You know, and then uh, like I said, a couple of them didn't didn't perform up to expectation, but uh, we finished tonight on a good note. Congrats on a job well done, Yannick. Thank you very much.